The fame, Shoko Shiranami Goningotoko, according to Chamber Records, was first performed in 1938. The original inspiration for this production is not quite known. The performance is pure entertainment, with a bit of self-promotion on the side. Through the years, more than 400 chamber members have agreed to wear the heavy makeup, colorful costumes, and very authentic hair pieces. The current Gonin Otoko play, as we know it, officially began in 1945. The 50th post-war presentation took place in 1995 with an all-star cast of past HJCC chairmen. Uh, rough time. 1955 was the 10th post-war performance, and two members back then reminisced about some fond memories. You know why? The reason was uh, we used to do it in Japanese, and of course with Kanai and myself, it wasn't much of a problem because we, we, grew, uh, we spent some time in uh, Japan school. So. so much has changed since then with modern technological advances that are woven into the script. Excuse me. Take the cell phone. Hello? Can you hear me now? <laughs> After doing a check of the players and their occupations, the Dorobo are ironically and overwhelmingly esteemed bankers, followed by insurance industry leaders and CPAs. And yes, the banking industry beckoned me. The roving banker no kōjō no go aisatsu de gozaru. Nihon daimon. Just don't return Ron Ushijima's phone call around October, November time frame. <laughs> Another interesting note is the continuation of generational families. Let's see if we can pick out some father-son pairings. Tonai! Haranobu! Rihei! Ben, how did you feel about your son's performance? Well, I thought my son did an excellent job. In fact, uh, the comments I heard from everyone is that he did a better job than I did. There was even a mother-daughter performance, and on the same evening, too. But watch the second Dorobo cast member. That Dorobo is really special. <laughs> First time in history of HJCC Kabuki play that mother and daughter are in the same cast. And quite possibly the only superb. husband she and wife combination. Job. I'm real proud of her. I did it myself in 1981, uh, so I think we're the only husband and wife that have ever done this. He promised me we would travel the world. It was a bunch of bull. <laughs> Here's another interesting one. We have two handsome and charming little Answer, I mean sons, <laughs> Taylor and then Justin. Minasama Shinen Akemashite Omerito Gozaimas. Happy New Year. The Gonin Otoko has also spanned generations. Tyler Tokioka's grandfather, Masayuki, was a Gonin Otoko performer in 1953. What an honor to follow in his footsteps and perform as a kabuki star in this hall that is named after him. Grandpa Kagawa also served as president of this Japanese chamber in 1962. Papa Siegfried took over in 1971. Gordon Kagawa's family boasts three generations of chamber members, as do Scott Higa's family. In fact, my grandfather and father were also Dorobo in the traditional 
kabuki plant. And it can mean third generation notable too. There were professional actors, starting with Cam Fong Chun, a policeman in real life who played the part of Chin Ho Kelly in the original Hawaii Five O. CBS took one look, one look at this handsome Pake boy. <laughs> Devin Nikova is another actor taking part in local productions. In fact, I am such a good actor. In Happily Ever After, I portray the beautiful Tantaran, <laughs> a Filipino woman. <laughs> and our Japanese members recited their lines with gusto. Miyakashija! Not to be outdone, our local performers are very promising wannabe thespians. Mango! Riki Maru! Akemashite! Omedeto! Gozaimasu! <laughs> Playing a huge role behind the scenes are the faithful, dependable sensei, three of whom have been with the Goning Otoko for almost 40 years. We close with a quick look of the many talented performers.